What's up, Spicy Mafia? It's your boy Clarence NYC, your favorite bearded nigga, and I'm back with another video from your favorite baby. I think I'm gonna do that like billboard recap video. I, I really want to like walk y'all through like what happened that day and what what some things that like how did it go first? It's only a, it was our second red carpet event. Yeah, it was only our second red carpet event because we did the BET last year. And this was our second one. Um, but it was a little different. We went on the red carpet last year for the BT. We had walked the red carpet, but we didn't have, like, well, we, we watched the show, but we, we were, like, in the nosebleeds, like, where, I, I believe where, like, the, um, like, where the public sits this year was. We were in, we are part of the show, you know what I mean? Like, we were in the um, main seating area. Like, when we first got there, it was empty. You know what I mean? I'm guessing everybody just, you know, politicking or still on the red carpet. You know, it wasn't too, too, too early. It was like 4.10, I think, and the shit started at like 4.30. But we ended up sitting right next to like Terry Crews. Terry Crews is right behind us. Um, Saweetie and Cuevo was right beside us, so it was, it's me, Queen, Sweetie, Cuevo. Um, that was dope. I think that was dope because I'm a big fan of the Migos. I love their music. Um, and I, I, I fuck with Cuevo on like the Stalin aspect. Like, I love his style. I love his like creativity when it comes to like dressing and and the drip and stuff. So I. Like that was an experience in itself. The fact that I got to sit next to Quavo and Saweetie actually introduced. She's she's nice. She's actually a nice, you know, a nice person. You know what I mean? She actually introduced Quavo to me and Queen, and it was just dope. He was cool. Um, when me and him find out that found out that we could like we get drinks, ordering drinks, like so it was just a vibe, laughing, joking. I don't wanna make it seem like we we're best friends and we was hitting it off, like you know what I'm saying? But we were like we conversate like every commercial break you get a she bring you another drink, like so it's open bar, little snacks, you get goodie bags, gift bags. It's just dope. It's a dope experience for like networking and, and and especially if you're in that field and then just meeting people that that are also doing what you do is just is so dope i remember cardi b walked in and she like seen queen she gave her like this little like everybody was going crazy when she walked in but she seen queen and like through this little crack she's like she's so cute she was like queen all night was scared to go up to her and um I say hi and like take a picture you know what i mean but like me and beast finally told her like you know what i'm saying like go up to her it's okay like you know what i'm saying you're not being like a i mean you are a big fan of hers but it's like it's okay you guys are in this common space right here you know what i'm saying where it's okay to like it's okay and especially drake had gave a speech after his award he's like go tell your your favorite artist that like you fuck with their music ready to show people love we live in a world today where it's like if you show too much love it's like you you thirsty or you clout chasing or it's like you can't show love to people without like being like called i don't know thirsty or something like that but yeah drake had just gave his speech about like you know tell your favorite artists you love them you know what i'm saying you appreciate their music you appreciate that they're here so like right after that queen will have went up to cardi and like and they had to like this that we they had this girl moment like ah, you know i was like i love you i love you and then they were saying they love each other and stuff like that and it was like hey cardi was like i watch everything i watch everything you know what i'm saying she looked at me and she like i watch everything like keep doing your thing so i thought that was dope that you know what i'm saying like they that she like she stays in tune you know what i'm saying she stays in tune with queen stays in tune with us and it's dope it's like you don't know that people that are above you or past you like take time out to see what you're doing or see what was going on and they took the selfie it, it came out blurry because the commercial was about to end during the commercial everybody gets up and like politics talks take pictures and stuff and then right before the commercial ends they do like a little countdown and be like 10 9 like so you got 10 seconds to get to your seat 
the show comes back while you're watching it on TV is like everybody's seated. But like little do you know when it's a break, everybody's up, politic and talking, like, you know, it, it's, it's just a dope experience. Sierra performing, I think she did the um, Janet Jackson tribute. I thought, I thought that was dope. Sierra's bad and she, her dance moves is crazy. Like she's one hell of a dancing. Queen took a picture with Sierra, I think. I think they did take a picture. But I think we wanted to take a picture with both of them, but it looked like they was like in a rush. So we didn't even get to like, get the picture or ask, you know what I'm saying? Cause we didn't wanna, we know how it is. And it's like, you know, trying to get out of there when the show ends, but it's okay. But when the show ended, this is like the highlight of my day. Y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I already know y'all know what it is, but if you don't, the highlight of this show for me was, all right, the show's ended, right? And then at the end, at the end of it, because this happened at the other BTU Awards too. At the end of the show, you come out, and at the while you're coming out, there's like vendors, there's tables like set up, and companies and vendors there, and they're like trying to give you, like they give you gift bags, they give you free trips. Like we got a free trip to I think Hawaii or something like that, and like they give you trips, they give you like merch, like shirts, they give you products and stuff like that. So. We're, we're in that space and I'm talking to a travel agent that just gave us a trip, you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking to him, I'm telling him that we want to like travel more and stuff. And he was like, he could help us just give him a call and stuff like that. And out of nowhere, it's like, you just see a man, you see like a little commotion and there's a lot of people coming down the hallway and it happened to be Drake. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was Drake exiting at this time, you know what I'm saying? And Drake was exiting and I was like right there talking to this guy. And he dead came when he when he was walking up to me, he dead like stopped. He dead stopped and said, What up my nigga? Like those was his exact words was what up my nigga and he gave me a pound. It was tons of people in, in, in there. It's not like he just like did that to everybody. Like it's kinda like he see it's like we looked at each other and he kinda know he knew who I was. Like and I like of course everybody knows who he is, but he kind of like looked at me like as in he was familiar, you know what I'm saying? And he said, what up my nigga? And gave me a pound. And it was just like, I don't know if y'all know, but that's my favorite artist. Like that's my favorite favorite hip hop artist. Like, and it's, it was just a crazy. Cause I, I've, I've been listening to music for years and years and like never would I thought I would be here, you know, like giving him a pound or being in the same space as him but i went up to queen and told her that what he what happened what he did he she said he said hi to her too so it's like he because i wasn't with queen at the time she was a little ahead of me with beast just sitting down because i think her feet hurt it was so dope to like be in that space and get motivated like that you know what i'm saying like like I'm lit, you know what I'm saying? Like Queen lit, you know what I'm saying? We doing our thing. And it's like, it's kind of, it kind of like reminded us and, and pushed us to be like, you know, we could be, we could keep being here. Like we belong here. But everybody was asking me about my outfit and like who styled me and what, what kind of pants are those or like, and I styled myself. I styled myself that day. The pants are Gucci, um, they're Gucci pants. You know what I'm saying? Um, the shirt, the white shirt that I wore is Givenchy. Um, and the shoes are Gucci. The shoes are Gucci. The belt is Gucci. Everybody loved it. It was like a fun, it was swaggy. I went kind of like, I tried to go like an ASAP Rocky Quavo kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? You know how they be wearing the shirts, but they leave it open where you can see their chains. And then you wear the fitted trousers, you know what I'm saying? But you leave a little like high water so you can see the shoe and like, I really, I was gonna wear Gucci socks, but then I went no socks, but I'm glad I went no socks and it made it look a little like classy, classier, you know what I'm saying? But I love my outfit, I love Queen outfit. Queen had an unreleased dress, I forgot from what brand, but that, the, the dress was fire. They actually threw her in Vogue. We've been talking about like me continuing to style her, you know what I mean? Cause I know I can do it, all I need is the time, you know what I mean? So comment right now, if you think I should style Queen, you know what I'm saying, for the next red carpet. Like, should I style her and me? Should I let me know? Comment right now if you think I should style both of us. But 
that was our experience and like i think hopefully like next red carpet when he's like more like grown i want to bring him i want to bring him to the next red carpet and i want to get him all dressed up and stuff but only if he's ready i don't know if he's gonna be ready yet right dada look at dada look at right there who that you being such a good boy at daddy's video huh we by ourselves right now. Well, I said that already, but it's just me, Legend, and Queen, and Queen sleep. So it's just me and Legend, and he was crying a little bit when I was about to do my video. So I just decided to put him in the video because I'm, I, I have to. You know what I'm saying? Either that or not work, right, baby? But we gotta get this, this moolah, right? We gotta get this money. His hair is getting so curly. I love you. Love you. But yeah, Billboard Awards was dope. Um, I can't wait for the next one. It's always good to be around people that has more or done more or or just <coughs> bigger or at that same level as you, you know what I'm saying? You get motivated. Like, I've always heard, like, if you're in a room with five millionaires, you're gonna be the sixth one, you know what I'm saying? But if you're in a room full of five broke niggas, you're gonna be this six broke nigga, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta surround yourself with good people. And it's all about networking and and putting face to name. I know a lot of people know probably of us or like they seen us on a thing, but then when they see us in person and they see how humble we are and how like loving we are, it's like, it's different. And I appreciate Queen because we're, we're at the awards because of her, you know what I'm saying? She was nominated for best new R&B artist, you know what I'm saying? So that's like, that's big time. This is only, she hasn't even had a year under her belt. I don't want y'all to forget that she got pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So she's only like four or five months in and she hasn't even got a real year of music under her belt. What's up? Why you laughing, baby? Why you laughing, baby? Come back over here. So she doesn't even have a real like year under her belt, which is scary. She's done, she has a, I think she has a billion streams right now and not, and she only has an EP out. She only has an EP out, which has five songs. And then she has War Cry and two features. Billion streams. Like if you don't think that's legendary, then I don't I don't know what legendary is. You know what I'm saying I know y'all miss us. I know y'all miss me and me being more consistent and stuff. And that's why I've been dropping videos. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to drop another one for y'all. Say bye. You wanna close out? You wanna close out the video, baby? You wanna close out? Close it out. Say peace. Peace. What the dream that the hustle so separately? Word. It's so separately. Word. Yeah, you gotta hustle. Crazy how they never show you support. Soon as you up, they gon' love you. Uh. I put them numbers up. You know it's going down. My middle finger up. Cause I don't fuck around.